Today I'm going to show you the simplest way to oak age your own whiskey at home. Let's do it. Now before we get right into this process, let me tell you this is a whiskey that I made uh, with the easy all grain recipe. Um, and then it, it, I made a video of how I made that and uh, I'll share that link with you at the end of the video if you're interested in checking out the easy all grain recipe. Um, but that's what I made it. This is at 122 proof. Now that one thing you want to consider when you're oaking, whether you're using a barrel or staves or oak chips, doesn't matter. You, you want to keep your proof uh, between 100 and 130. It's kind of like a Goldilocks zone. Any less than 100, you're not able to really pull out much of the flavor. Anything above 130 proof and you're pulling to, you're pulling out too much of the stringent flavors in the wood. So the Goldilocks zone is 100 to 130. This is at 122. So I, I proofed it to where I wanted it and then I added the oak what I'm using in this is what's called a medium char oak. It has been in this jar for now about 14 days. Uh, no, I'm sorry, 12 days. And um, it smells really good. Uh, I don't think it's quite where I want it just yet. I'm kind of you know, with this jar i'm kind of chasing the uh caramel vanilla flavor and we'll, we'll see how it turns out but uh it's really getting a beautiful color as you can see and um today i'm going to show you how uh how to how to taste it to know if you're if you want to stop if you want to take the oak out and go ahead and filter it and and put it in a bottle or if you want to leave it in a little bit longer i'm going to show you the process that i use to do that uh, and it's really easy so i didn't i didn't make part of the video of me just putting the oak in a jar of clear whiskey because that would have been a 10 second video uh, not much point so uh, i thought i'd pick this process up at this point where this is when you really start doing something. So we're going to taste it today and I'm going to decide if I like where it is or if I want to wait. So the first step in that is I don't want to taste it at 122 proof because that's not going to be the final proof. When I get it to when I get it where I want it, I'm going to proof it down to about 80. And so if I taste it now, it's not going to taste the same as when I proof it down. So I'm going to I'm going to take just a little shot, but I want to proof it for that. Sh I want to proof it down to 80 for this shot. So I use a really simple method called the box method. I've already done the math on it. it literally took me about nine, 60 to 90 seconds. That's drawing it out and everything. So it, this is really simple. If you haven't seen me explain the box method, I've got a video for that. And I'll also share that link at the end of this video so you can check that out if you haven't already. So I've already done the math and I'm going to do 10 parts of um, 10 parts of the whiskey to three parts water and that's going to bring it down to 80 proof. So uh, I've got some water right here in a cup and I'm using a, uh, a syringe because I don't want to waste very much, so I'm going to make the smallest amount that I that I can. So we're going to do ten. We're going to do ten milliliters. Of the whiskey. And then I'm going to do three milliliters of the water. Oh, man. Guess that was a total guess. It came out just right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stir this up a little bit. Yes, I don't think it's going to be there just yet. Still smelling a lot like just the corn liquor, which is okay. I like that too, but uh, it's not what I'm after when I, with this soaking. That 
that's getting there. That's really, that's getting there. It's not there yet. So I'm going to leave it in there a little longer. And at this point, I'm probably going to do the same process uh, maybe every week or every other week. And we'll just see. Uh, we'll see how long it takes. I've, I've heard people give vast, wide, different numbers about how long to do this process. So the best thing to do is to just test it yourself every couple of weeks. Just see where it is and see if you like it. And if you want to leave it in there a little longer, leave it in there a little longer. It's, uh, it's easy to go too long. And then to try and save it is very difficult if you've oaked it too much. So that's why you want to just test it periodically through the process and not let it not let it oak for too long. Now, as promised, if you want to check out the video about how I made this easy all grain beginner recipe, I'm going to put that video right here. If you want to check out this box method of how to proof things down super easy, I'm going to put that video right here. Hell, I'll even put a video right here that YouTube thinks you'll like. Talk to y'all later.